Although I enjoy working on electronic circuit boards, one of the most frustrating jobs in the workshop is trying to safely desolder an electronic component from a circuit board. So to make life a bit easier, in this video we're going to be looking at four different products at very different price points, all designed to help desolder components from circuit boards. So let's get into the review. In this video I'll test solder wick, a solder sucker, then an automatic solder sucker, and finally a desoldering station. Let's start off with the cheaper solution and work our way up. Starting off with solder wick. Solder wick is made up of fine braided copper wire. As the name would suggest, it wicks up solder much like a sponge absorbs water. Once the wick has been used, the used section is cut off and discarded. Now let's attempt to desolder a through hole component. Although the wick easily removes the surface level solder, it's difficult to remove the solder down inside the PCB. This means the component is still firmly fixed to the circuit board. This doesn't mean wick is entirely useless. When it comes to SMD boards, solder wick is excellent for cleaning up solder pads. This video is proudly sponsored by JLC PCB. I've been using their PCB manufacturing service before they became a sponsor of my channel. I've used their printed circuit boards in several build videos and I've always been impressed with their quality, speed and low cost. Prices start at $2 for 5 printed circuit boards, so wave goodbye to Vero board and take your projects to the next level with a custom PCB from JLC. Our next product is this made in Japan engineer branded solder sucker. Unlike cheaper knockoff solder suckers, this one sucks more than the competition. And I mean that in a good way. The tip has a replaceable soft silicon nozzle which helps to create an airtight seal. This might seem like an insignificant feature, but in truth this small feature has a big impact on how well you can extract solder from a joint. My soldering iron is set to 350 Celsius, and the iron is applied to the solder joint and left there for a few seconds to heat soak the area. Then the solder sucker is placed on the joint and the plunger is released to suck the solder out. We can see most of the solder has been extracted from the joint. Flipping the board over, the engineer solder sucker did such a good job the resistor is just barely sitting there and was easily removed from the circuit board without causing any damage. Cleaning is fairly straightforward. Any solder stuck in the nozzle can be removed with a piece of wire or similar. The rear cap unscrews and any solder inside simply falls out. Next we have this automatic solder sucker. This sucker features a heated nozzle, so no soldering iron is required for use. With every press of the button, you get a pulse of vacuum to remove any solder from the joint. Starting at room temperature, it took around 5 minutes to reach operational temperature, which was a smidging under 300 Celsius. It did a good job of removing the solder from the joint and the resistor was easy to remove without causing any damage to the PCB. Cleaning was fairly easy to do by unscrewing the plastic cap and dumping out any solder with inside the rubber boot. Although it did a good job of removing the solder, 
I found the unit very cumbersome to hold, not to mention it's also a chunky fella weighing in at over 400 grams. Because of this, personally I'd rather the engineer solder sucker over this unit. Lastly we have this desoldering station by Proskit. The Pros Kit has an ergonomic handpiece which is both comfortable to hold and lightweight coming in at 168 grams. The temperature is programmable and the display is a good size for easy reading. Starting from room temperature it takes around a minute 30 seconds to achieve 350 celsius. The Pros Kit features a vacuum pump which continuously sucks for as long as you hold the trigger. It does an excellent job of quickly removing solder and it will be no surprise that the resistor was easy to remove without damaging the PCB. Cleaning the handpiece is also easy by flipping the side lever which releases the glass chamber which catches the solder. All of these products were purchased by myself and if you're considering buying any of the products tested in this video it'd be really awesome if you would be kind enough to use my affiliate links in the video's description to help support my channel. So what is my recommendations out of the bunch? Well starting off with the solder wick, it's quite useful for wicking solder off circuit boards that use SMD components and a few other odd applications here and there but when it comes to desoldering through hole components it doesn't make life really any easier. Um, next we've got the engineer branded solder sucker. This especially for the price point I was quite impressed with. Um, this is the first good manual solder sucker I've owned. Uh, this one I've owned since I was a teenager. It's just a, a cheaper you would find online and it makes me hate solder suckers. However, this changed my opinion. This particular one, made in Japan, top quality, I would recommend this. It's good. Now we've got the, what I'm calling automatic solder sucker. It's basically this, but with a button and it heats up. The thing I dislike about this is the weight of it and how cumbersome and awkward it is to handle. Um, in my opinion, I don't really see the point. I would rather use this than this. So that can go. And that leaves us with the Pros Kit desoldering station here. Now, this is by far the best. It's easy to use. The handle is lightweight. You also get constant suction for as long as you hold down the trigger. So if there's lots of solder to be sucked or removed, this is the choice for that job. However, of course, there is always a caveat, and at this point, it's price. But if you regularly desolder circuit boards, then I would highly, highly recommend picking one of these up. They make life easy. So I think that about wraps it up for this video. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you know of another tool used for desoldering components that you would recommend, why don't you leave them down in the comment section below, I might review them in the future. Other than that, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.